Hi and welcome to the uh, welcome to my first ever video discussing stuff like this. I'm just this is like gonna be just everything here is gonna be just my opinion. And I'm not all right. I've seen a lot of people reading and reviewing this comic, and I'm just gonna give up some of my own opinions that probably not everybody share. I'm not gonna say they're unpopular or hot takes because they're probably not. But uh, they just few opinions. Like the first one is gonna be that. A lot of people diss the art style, which is fair, but the art style isn't really that bad, at least to me. It looks like it. It's a little bit. It looks like a little bit not the best, but but it's not. But it's not the worst either. Like it's. Like it's, it's so stylized. I like the art style. It's the art style and the character's way of drawing. They sort of remind me of some sort of, I don't know, abstract. They remind me of something. I do not know what it is, but the art, the art style is cool. And a lot of people just said something about the art style being lazy, which is fair but it's nice I feel like this art style could have been used in much more better things like if the story was good the art style would have not be a problem but since the art style is made by so a terrible person that's why people see it as pro as not cool also another one is how everyone just say that the comic make the woman ugly which is no. I like the the way that some of the girls looks like. They, they they sort of get out of the way of being oh and they're not even that unattractive. They looks they looks like a woman I could have they looks like ladies I would have met in real life. I I don't actually see see much black people in my life besides some relatives. But yeah, the, everybody talks about how the comic makes the woman look ugly, which is not true. They they look beautiful here. I like them. And now for an for third opinion, which is uh, everyone seems to agree on, is how the comic is racist. Like it's okay to like white people be racist and. A lot of people might, s some people might say it's not true that white people are racist, but that's not the point. Like, um, if you portray everyone from the same race as the same, that would have been the problem. Like, if L every bl like it's the same as portraying all black people as as idiots, as as angry people, as people who can cannot do anything that a white person can do that's racist so the same goes here like if you portray every white person as a racist just as a being racist for you just because you are black that's that's fair some people are indeed racist for no action are racist for actually there's no excuse for racism but but it is still not good to portray everyone from the same race as this, like... How about... It's just terrible, alright? And... Fourth opinion... Well, actually... Let's focus a little bit on the third one. Um... Oh, or no, fourth opinion. The cop. All right, this is actually not that bad, but <laughs> sorry, but it's. I do not think it's 
the word all cops are bastards is actually true like <laughs> as someone who actually who actually uh, I actually had a conversation with cops and they didn't seem bad maybe maybe the cops here where I live are much nicer than the cops in America America which is I'm sorry but I do not like the word all cops all cops are bastards because no it's it's not not all of them it, it not all of them of course no y'all just love to stereotype everything and even all right racist cops they exist corrupted cops and laws exist but labeling everyone from there as corrupted or evil it just it bothers me all right I'm not against fighting corrupt cops, but they're not. Uh, it's it's it just bothers me because it's a blatant stereotyping. Like, oh, you're a cop, you automatically hate black people, which is no, it it shouldn't be. Uh, a fifth opinion. And one I want to talk about is the whole thing with the, sh the school shooting because one, that's not how school shootings is. Like it's not just oh a girl said oh, a girl said no to me, so I'm gonna shoot up the whole school. Uh, uh, there is people who do this uh, all this chaotic shit just for just for one person, but if you actually if you actually know anything about any recorded school shootings, most of the crim most of the shooters did it for more person more reason, like how they got bullied a lot, which is I'm not excusing it, I'm just saying what's the reason behind it. Like it's it's like being like, it makes sense that a school shooting would happen from a kid that was bullied a lot because that kid built up a hatred toward everybody because of it. But, alright, first of all, this kid is rich. Second of all, he, he was just rejected by a girl. And the problem is also they say that he can get away with everything because he's rich and white. Some of it is true, but portraying it as, as somewhat of a superpower is not really great. You might... How do I explain it? You might actually see something similar with billionaires and, and some rich people. Not all of them, some. And how s even... And how once they do something so stupid, everybody just jump on them. At least that's currently... It just it it baffles me a lot. What baffles me more about it is how you how uh, every character who is white here is portrayed as racist or a criminal, which is which is not good. It just reverse portraying black people as criminals or something. And that's uh, like a sixth opinion as a whole, like globally. Making a villain who's uh, who's not white is not automatically racist. Making an Asian villain, an, an Arabic villain, heck, I'm Arab myself, and I would not mind seeing a villain who's who speaks the same language as me, because one, or uh, I mean Arabic, I'm I'm speaking English for personal re for reasons. Like, I would not mind, like, oh, he's villain, but he's sh he's not, like, the one who's gonna betray how Arabs are, like, as long as you know how to set up this thing, like, oh, this black villain is, this person, this villain is black, but, but that's not how black people are, actually, like, there's good ones, like, there is a ways to actually portray a culture and race without, without, it, not ev not everything have to be positive. You don't have to make all your 
your characters good sometimes it's great to have villains of your own race which is interesting and yeah I know I'm I'm like three years or four years now late for this thing which I'm sorry I'm I'm just stupid I'm really stupid but uh, yeah completion to that opinion it's Wailing being evil is not a bad here it's just how every character with with the, with the same skin tone is betrayed it it just it it's not good at all at all uh, a final opinion which is not related to the comic as a whole but uh, okay, it's related to the comic, but it's not like r related in a way that it's 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 anything important. Which is the whole art, the whole cover. I, I sort of like it. If Nubia had this sassy, this sassy girl vibe with her being also a, a, a hero, I would have actually liked it. Like, look at her. She looks like uh, you got. You got a problem, and she's gonna be like all sassy and stuff. Uh, I'm saying this like sass, like it, sassy children exist. Teenagers who act sassy exist. I'm not saying this out of sexual thing. No, no, please. But like, it would have been quite nice if she had this sassy side, which is she'd be like, "Not my problem, slay." Of course, not adding it in the comic itself, but just giving the vibe. Okay. Bye.